Hello Cool Earths, it's Pablo here and welcome back to Barca Universal. Welcome to the match review of Cadiz 2, Barcelona 1. Another defeat for Barcelona in La Liga, away from home again. It's what we said in the preview, do not fail in this sort of fixture. But again, we can't help ourselves, it's exactly the sort of game we always struggle in and we've gone and done it again. It's getting frustrating, it's getting infuriating. There's just so much to talk about and it's just getting, honestly, on the brink of so, so frustrating for Barcelona right now. And for us fans, we've seen it all before. It isn't exactly much new. So without any further ado, let's get in to the match review. And let's start with Ronald Koeman's team selection, which I actually predicted bang on in the preview. I said, this is what I think Koeman is going to go for. Whether we agree with that is an another matter. I think in midfield, people would have preferred if Pjanic or Alan Yass started ahead of Busquets. To be fair to the Spaniard, he's been in bad form of late, but he was actually decently good today, Busquets, and what was a pretty bad Barcelona performance. Further forward in the field, I think we all thought, is this going to work with having Messi, Coutinho and Griezmann against a Cadiz low block? For me, it didn't work. Of course it didn't. And again, you look, of course, we can't have Ansel Fati playing, but can we get some natural wingers in there? Dembélé maybe could have started from the start. Um, and on the left-hand side for future games, honestly, I don't know what we're going to go for. We just have to find ways of getting around things because away from home in La Liga, we just always struggle. So let's actually start with that match action. And I think for this game, it was so important that Barcelona came in and carried on with their good form. We've been in positive spirits right now, but we turn up to a La Liga fixture away from home and we've got to sort of mentality out because this is not just a new issue guys yes of course this season we've dropped bad points away from home but it's been happening for quite a few years now and it's just simply not good enough turning up to these away grounds even without fans and just i don't know what's wrong the mentality switches the the intensity drops and it's just not good enough i didn't think we started the game in horrible fashion i think you could definitely see that barca had won their last three games in a row the confidence was a little higher it was decent but what we did do guys was give Cadiz the goal they were dreaming of and you just cannot do this in this sort of fixture it was actually a cheap corner given away and as soon as it was given away i said to myself do not give set pieces away like that in this sort of game it's exactly what Cadiz wanted and look we gave it away and without Piquet and the team we do not deal with these sorts of situations well at all it's a corner whipped in the head is flicked on at the front post and it's actually mean Geta here who maybe was fouled I'd like to hear what you guys think about this for me it's very very cheap of course we've seen stuff like this given for fouls you know namely in the Classico that was very cheap we always refer back to that for me not a penalty for me same today not a foul but with what they've given in the past if you want to be fair they probably should have given it as a foul but hey I mean Geta falls over one way or another and he actually heads it almost into his own net so Stegen gets a glove to it I think it's heading in anyway but Alvaro actually sticks his leg on it smashes it over the goal line and within the opening 10 minutes guys we're 1-0 down and he's just thinking for goodness sake why on earth can we never ever turn up and just deal with this sort of fixture because it is infuriating guys all we wanted today was a nice performance away from home a confidence booster another good statement win to keep our run going but we just cannot grasp it right now we cannot do it away from home in La Liga and in terms of not just away from home guys in most La Liga fixes this season we just cannot do it it's been frustration after frustration a little bit of an up here and there and then it's back down to earth it's so so annoying and the rest of the half wasn't that good either because we did have a few chances guys you saw Martin Braithwaite get in that was a good save from the keeper but other than that guys you know Caddy they had their lead they were just going to sit deep they were going to hit us on the counter attack waste loads of time when they could and we just played it into their hands didn't we in this sort of away fixture you cannot give up a goal like that but having done that you You've got to have the mentality, the drive to turn it around. And I think we've seen this sort of game for Barcelona so many times. Individual error or mistake puts us 1-0 down and we cannot get back into the game something has to change for these sorts of fixtures because for the rest of the half guys very little happened for Barcelona having Coutinho, Messi and Griezmann almost all on top of each other there it just did nothing and why would it guys against that sort of Cadiz low block honestly so frustrating for Barcelona so frustrating for Barcelona fans but we did at least rock up to the second half with a number of halftime changes it was actually a double switch Dembélé came on Pedri came on and actually mean Getha went off um, and as did Felipe Coutinho, so De Jong dropped back to centre-back, probably a bit harsh, De Jong also at centre-back, didn't cover himself in glory for me for most of the game, didn't seem to be that comfortable, but of course he has played there on numerous occasions this season, Dembélé probably didn't have the impact we would have wanted him to have, Pedri I thought had some nice touches, he wasn't bad for sure, I think he definitely helps us link play, um, 
uh, overall just, you know, enhances the rhythm of the game a little bit more for Barcelona. But honestly, even after they came on, not not much change for Barcelona. Um, I actually thought Cadiz in the second half probably had more chances than they did in the first. They were actually breaking at quite some pace in, in numerous occasions there in that second half. But for Barcelona, again, very little is going to happen. It really is when you're playing that narrow with that lit and intent. There were some good moments, of course. And of course, Barca did get their equaliser. And you are thinking, come on, come on, because it was actually a lucky goal. It's an own goal, really, in the end. Uh, it's Jordi Alba who gets it. He squares it. I'm not sure who to, to be fair, but it's in the end off Alcala and into the net for Barcelona. A massive goal, you'd feel, because I think at this sort of moment in the game, it was still quite early on. We haven't even reached the hour mark yet. We'd got our goal back, and you were thinking, can Barcelona turn this around? But at the same time, in the back of my head, I thought, look, we did this against Alaves. That was when they had 10 men also, and we didn't do it. So I was still pensive. I was still thinking, look, we've got a good chance here. But we've been a bit lucky with that goal. We're not exactly creating much against this block. Let's just hope, though, anyway. But look, Barcelona, within about three, four minutes of going level with Cadiz, give the goal away. We go behind once more. And it's an absolute comical fashion. It's another disaster of a goal. A pantomime at the back, quite frankly. And we are building one heck of a circus back there in our own six-yard box. Because it's actually Jordi Alaba, who has a cheap throw in here. He sort of just lays it back aimlessly to Longley. And look, it's not an awful throw in. It's a fine throw in. Longley should control the ball. But I just think for Alaba, it was a bit of an odd throw in. But hey, that's not really the main point of discussion here. It's Longley who has to control the ball, really. It bounces up on him. He can't really get a foot on it. And then by that time, they're steaming in on goal. I think it's Negredo there who's closing down to Stegen. To Stegen rushes out to try and clear the ball. He bashes it off Negredo. It bounces perfectly for him. He just skips around De Jong on the goal line and rolls it into an empty net. And just as we'd brokered Cadiz's almost, you know, willingness to defend back there, we'd got them, we'd broken that barrier. They go and get their goal back. And it's just a nightmare sort of stuff for Barcelona. It really is. We cannot catch a break right now in these away La Liga fixtures. It's the same nonsense, the same individual and comical errors at the back, the same lack of impotence in the final third. And it's just not good enough, guys. It is not good enough, is what I'll say. We've seen it so many times before. And all, and all I can say is, guys, it's just seriously frustrating. Because for the rest of the half, we did have a few chances here and there. You saw Pjanic and also Trincao come on. Uh, we were chucking loads of players forward. Dest had a good chance, actually, in there. He may have been offside. Uh, we saw Griezmann and Messi constantly trying to get on the ball on the edge of the area. Messi had a couple of free kicks also, guys. But again, Caddy's literally just put eight men on the line. There's no way through on those. I thought Busquets was putting some good balls in. Nothing really came in. The majority of the Alaba kept on trying to get to the byline, feed it into Braithwaite. Barcelona didn't get much luck, really. And all throughout the second half, look, we had a few good chances here. Ledesma certainly made some smart saves in the goal. He's a top goalkeeper. Um, but Barcelona, again, haven't threatened Cadiz enough here. In these sorts of games, what you need to do is be calm, be patient, play your game plan, wear them down, get the first goal, and win the game. And that is what we used to do in the past, guys, of course. But right now, it seems that we always give up an early goal. We always mess around, guys, and just cannot find the finishing touch in the final third. And ultimately, that's what's happened again. We've dropped more points. And I'll say this now, guys. For me, La Liga is done. It does not look like we're going to be winning La Liga right now. I think, what is it? We're 12 points by an Atletico Madrid right now. That's way too much. And that's, of course, say Atletico were to lose their next four games and we were to win our next four games. Yeah, that is un unbelievable. It's never going to happen. Say that was to happen, guys. We'd still be behind Atletico because they have the head-to-head -head on us. And that's how bad it is right now, guys. We're seriously far behind. For me, La Liga, the, tro the trophy, the title race... It's done really for Barcelona. I don't like saying that I never do the league. It's something I always push for. And I did say at the start of this month, if we win every game, there's no reason why we can't be up there. Even then, it would have been a push, but we could have been up there. But right now, we've got hard games for the rest of this month. You look at Valencia, Real Sociedad. It's not going to get much easier, guys. So for Barcelona, we've dropped more points here. For me, La Liga, it looks done. We've just got to win as many as we can. And hopefully, I suppose, guys, get in the Champions League spots because it is getting to that right now. We know we'll joke about it, but we've got to be there for goodness sake. And I will just touch on Ronald Koeman here, who I think maybe, yes, fair enough, could have got the lineup better today. Uh, you look at the lack of wingers playing with Skets again in the midfield, a few things like that. Uh, you know, I think we can fault him for that. And I think a lot of fans will jump on him for these sorts of decisions. But I think overall, Ronald Koeman hasn't done a terrible job at Barcelona. He's trying to mix things up. We're not exactly exactly in a perfect period we just lost 8-2 to Bayern Munich when he came in and I think we all thought we were in absolute disarray right then so I think Koeman hasn't done a shocking job but look how far we are down in La Liga um you know it's not exactly looking good for him but what I will say is and you look in these games guys and you look at the goals we're conceding is that really Ronald Koeman's fault the defenders you know dribbling it out Longley not being able to control the ball you look at some of the other individual mistakes stupid penalties given away um the classico he can't do much about of course he can move his bench earlier and there are a few things 
things that you can do, like I said, with the lineup. But I think of the majority of the games we've lost, guys. Look at the Alaves one, for example. Neto literally dribbles it into Rioja. It's that sort of thing that Koeman cannot control. And right now, it's costing us, guys. We're missing out big points in the league. And it just feels a little bit null right now. You know, what are we going to do in the future, guys? We've got... A big game coming up, of course, midweek to Juventus, but the Champions League is, is essentially done, you know, unless Juventus go and beat us 3-0 there, which, you know, I wouldn't put past them, but I don't think it's going to happen. We will be finishing top of our Champions League group. But then you got the league coming up, guys. But what is it actually to aim for? Because I do wonder, the guys, these players already have a lack of ambition, really, lack of motivation. But now that the league's gone, are we going to be able to win points? Because we've got to, guys. We've got to get in the Champions League places, for goodness sake. So, for Barcelona, we've got to get our stuff together. We've got to go on a big run of wins. I've been trying to drill that home for weeks now. But we've already lost again, guys. It is getting worrying. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. So please do leave all your thoughts in the comments down below. Another bit of a disaster of a game for Barcelona and Barcelona fans. You know, we go to bed a little bit distraught again. Another bad loss. Another bad moment for us in this season. It hasn't gone well. But what I will say, guys, a positive is you guys and Barcelona Universal. The community is growing. We're getting way more views on the video. The in videos, the interaction is good. So keep subscribing, sharing the channel around. We are getting there. Let's see if we can reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. It's been a bit of a dull year all round and for Barcelona not exactly good. We march on though guys, we've got some games coming up, let's see if we can win them. I'll leave it with that guys, I hope you guys enjoy your evenings and if you somehow enjoy the game then I'm glad for you. Goodbye.